Hello everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're gonna to talk about five ways to make money performing magic. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Advice for Magicians, where my goal is to help you to take your magic to the next level. Now, you've been doing magic for a little while, you love it, you love performing it for people, but you want to take your career in magic to the next level and actually start making money instead of just spending all of your money on tricks, right? So in this video, I'm here to tell you five ways that you can actually profit off of your passion as a performer. Now, before we do that, just a couple of announcements. If you have not already done so, please make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to support the channel for just $1 a month, be sure to click the join button and become a Mob Squad member. Members get access to a bunch of really cool stuff, including full-on video tutorials, early access to all of these videos so you guys don't have to wait, emojis, badges, and even discounts in the O'Brien Magic Shop. All of these exciting perks for just $1 a month. And I really appreciate all of the love and support that I have from all of my current members, all of my subscribers, and all of you who are watching these videos. It is because of all of you I am able to keep this channel going. So thank you so much. It really means a lot. So let's go ahead and dive into the subject of this video, five ways to make money as a professional magician. All right, number one is probably the most obvious and that is doing gigs, going out and doing paid shows, whether it be walk around magic or stage shows, weddings, birthday parties, corporate events, holiday parties, it doesn't matter. If you are going out and doing a paid gig, you are considered a gig worker, a gigging magician, right? If you guys would like to learn how to start going out and doing your own gigs, uh, I will leave a link in the description below. I have a video that I did called From Zero to Your First Paid Gig. And uh, essentially, assuming you've already been doing magic for long enough that you're able to perform for people, you should be able to get your first paid gig within about three or four months. Now I'm gonna put a little asterisk on that because of COVID, I know it's been very difficult for even working magicians that have already been doing magic professionally uh, to book anything. But uh, assuming that everything goes to plan, you should be able to get your first paid gig within about three months or so. Uh, so I highly recommend you guys take a look and check that video out. Next up is busking or working for tips. This could be working for tips in a restaurant. Uh, maybe the restaurant themselves aren't paying you, but they're like, yeah, you can come in whenever you want and work the tables and stuff. And if they tip you, you can keep your tips. That's one way that you can make money. Another way is by busking or doing street performing. All busking really is, is when you set up your little uh, performance area and you have people just like walking by in the street, you reel them in, you perform for them, and then at the very end you take off your hat, you toss out your hat and ask them to throw money into the hat as a way of them saying thank you for enjoying the show that you just put on for them, right? Now busking ain't easy, there's a lot that you need to learn on uh, becoming a great street performer. If you guys would like to check out a video on that, I interviewed one of my good friends, Jack Murdoch, who's a professional busker who goes all over the United States and even all over the world just doing street magic for people. And um, he will teach you guys some tips on how to start busking. So if you guys wanna get into this or if this is something interesting to you, check out that video, link in the description below. All right, tip number three, right? I think we're on three now is selling magic. So whether it be retailing magic, like uh, purchasing magic and then reselling it like at a magic shop, uh, or creating your own magic and selling it, retailing your own product or selling downloads or writing books and selling them, this is another way that you could make magic as a professional. I have tons of advice on this as well. I mean, I just, you know what? I'm not even gonna link all of this stuff up. I'm gonna let you guys just binge my whole channel and watch these videos. No, but seriously, if you guys wanna sell magic tricks and, and become a, a magic dealer or a magic content creator, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do, especially today. Everyone and their mom has an iPhone. That's what I'm filming this on right now. Everyone and their mom has an iPhone. Uh, you get a nice little white sheet toss it up behind you and come up with some really good ideas and you can actually sell some product and make some good money doing so. 
Now, I'm gonna reiterate this because I have in my other videos too. Like I said, it ain't easy. You ain't gonna just come up with an idea tonight, film it tomorrow morning, post it up tomorrow afternoon, and become rich by the end of the month. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. You have to be creative. You have to come up with your own original ideas. You ain't gonna just be like marketing other people's stuff, right? Um, and uh, you do have to work it out so that it can be performed in a real life setting so that you can have someone, um, you know, like when they're learning the tricks, you can actually show like, yeah, this actually works. So I put the time and the effort into being able to uh, teach it to you guys and all of that stuff. Now, if creating isn't your forte, that's totally fine. Uh, you can open up your own online magic shop, right? Maybe make a bunch of videos of you demonstrating classic plots and magic like the ball and vase. Uh, or the cups and balls or the disappearing card case or like a Svengali deck and you can purchase those and then you can retail them on your online magic shop or you can start a pop-up magic shop or like an actual brick and mortar where you sell a lot of the stuff, right? You don't necessarily have to be a creator and you don't necessarily have to be uh, creative uh, in order to do this. So there's a lot of ways that you can make money when it comes to actually selling magic either to the general public or to other magicians. Number four is teaching magic or doing magic lectures. Now, this is like a whole nother genre all on its own, going out and doing lectures where you're teaching other magicians uh, your craft, or whether it be doing one-on-one -on -one lessons for someone that wants to learn magic. Uh, you really want to make sure that you know what you're talking about if you're gonna go out and start doing lectures. There's nothing worse than someone that has just gotten into magic thinking that they can go out and start lecturing <laughs> and teaching other magicians the craft that they don't really know much about, right? It'd be kind of like going to medical school and finding out that your doctor just did their first surgery yesterday and now they're gonna teach you guys how to do surgeries and you're gonna be like, uh, is this probably the best instructor to be teaching me how to do surgery? He's literally only done one surgery in his career and now you want him to teach us how to do surgeries, right? So it's the same kind of thing in magic. You want to really make sure that you've put the time and the effort and you've just got underneath your belt all of this experience before you go out and start teaching people. But it's a really great way to uh, to earn some extra money as a professional magician, especially if on top of being a gigger and on top of being uh, a, cr uh, a creator, you know, you can combine those things together. You can lecture on your experience as a gig working magician, right? Um, you can lecture on um, the product that you've created and then you can sell the product uh, after the lecture. So if people love your material and they wanna purchase your tricks, that's another way to get into becoming a professional magician. And last but not least is paid advertising. Now, this can come in many different forms. This can be direct paid advertising where you actually have someone pay you uh, to sponsor a video. For example, uh, you can have someone send you a product and they can pay you and you say, yeah, like I'll use the product in my video, right? Like let's just say New York Hat Company wanted to sponsor this video. Uh, I wear their newsboy caps, right? They might be like, yeah, you know, just wear the newsboy cap in the video and at some point in the video, do like a 15, 20 second commercial for us uh, telling people where to go to buy a, a hat, right? So I would do something like, oh, by the way, if you guys really liked my newsboy hat, you should go check out New York Hat Company's hats. Uh, they are incredible and blah, 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 blah. And you get 20% off if you use this discount code and blah, 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 and whatever, right? So that's like a paid advertising gig. Uh, usually people with large social media followings will get those. You can also monetize your channel. So you're making money from uh, generating uh, um, ad revenue, right? So like running ads on your, on your videos and starting memberships, just like I do here. I have the Mob Squad membership. It's another way to generate money. Uh, for your channel to help keep your channel going and all that stuff. Uh, TikTok has gotten really popular lately. There are a lot of really big name magicians on TikTok that are doing some really cool stuff and making a living uh, doing TikTok videos and stuff like that. So you can definitely make some money uh, doing some paid advertising gigs. You don't necessarily have to create anything other than just the content that you are putting on your channel. Being a content creator, uh, can be very challenging as well, right? So you don't necessarily have to come up with your own original trick. 
uh, but being able to perform uh, the tricks that you want to perform to your audience and reel them in and come up with the schedule and all that stuff, it could be a lot of work, but it is definitely worth it if you're willing to put in the effort. Now, having said this, you don't have to pick and choose one of them. You can do all five of these things if you really want to as a full-time professional working magician. I personally do most of these things. I think the only thing that I'm not doing really right now is busking. I just don't have a whole lot of time uh, to spend all day in the hot sun busking. Um, shout out to those of you who do that because I, I really seriously tip my hat to you. It is a lot of work and it is really hard. Uh, but I, I am a gig working magician. I do out and do uh, I go out and do shows and whatnot. Uh, I'm a magic creator. I'm obviously a YouTuber. You guys are watching my YouTube stuff right now. And I teach and uh, lecture on the product that I create and my experiences as a professional magician as well. So you can take all of these things and you can kind of combine them together. And now you're able to support yourself doing it what it is that you love, right? So that is my advice on how to start making money as a professional magician. And my question of the day for you is what can you do as a magician to make some money and use that to support your passion. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to check out some more magic, visit us at obrienmagic.com and be sure to check out our online magic shop where you will find the latest and greatest magic books, downloads, and accessories.